My name is Erin Johnson. I'm from Fowler, Colorado. I've never seen such a talented group of girls in one spot, honestly. I've, I've never put on a clinic where everybody was this talented and has such a good grasp on all the basics and rides nice horses and they're so passionate about it and really want to work hard to become some of the, the best. Teaching has definitely brought me outside of my box. Like I used to think that I couldn't do it and that it wasn't something that was for me. But I have loved it in the fact that, you know, I get to see people who also love to rope as much as I do. Because if you're going to sit out here and listen to someone talk and try to learn and do all these things, you have to be passionate about it. You have to love the sport and want to get better and want to improve yourself. Because if not, then what are we putting the work in for? Hi, my name is Hope Kell and I am from Wilton. I love the school. I think it's been very helpful. Uh, the breaking down everything from horsemanship to roping to your positioning. And it's just been really good. And uh, Aaron has been super helpful and really kind. It's been awesome. Hi, I'm Paige Van Lovensels. So far, I have learned how to really ride my horse to his best abilities. And I can't thank Aaron enough for allowing me to learn from her because she's the best. Hi, my name is Haley Hicks. I've been riding horses my whole entire life. I've been roping in the breakaway event competitively for about six years now. What I wanted to take most from this clinic is actually learning the basics. Like I know the basics, but I wanted to like advance my horsemanship skills leading out of the box to get a better start to like more control on my horse and I'm getting so much help from Aaron. Hi, I'm Maddie Bigelow. Coming into the school, I wanted to learn how when I, my horse left the box, if I can get my rope up more, make a quicker shot, be more confident, more aggressive in my roping. Getting a lot of information out of that. <laughs> so me, my dad, and Lee Seamus have invented a new breakaway Honda. So it's a piece of plastic, it's like a tube of plastic that we cut through with a little CNC. And pretty much you put it on like your performance rope, your rodeo rope, and it just saves your rope when if you want to practice with it. So you put it on the Hondu and it breaks off and you don't even have to cut your rodeo rope. When I first came to Lee to get help from her, uh, she introduced me to that Hondu and I really, really liked it. You know, I don't have to cut my rodeo ropes. I can rope with the rope before I take it to a rodeo. Uh, it doesn't add any more weight. It doesn't take any more weight off my Hondu. I can swing it the same. It doesn't even feel like I have a breakaway Hondu on. I think it benefits your roping pretty good because it doesn't mess your loop up and it's easy to take on and off and just makes everything more easy. Um, the breakaway Honda is an awesome idea. I actually had one similar to it a long time ago, probably 20 years ago, and then I never found another one and I was really bummed when it was worn out. But what's cool about it are the obvious things. You don't have to cut a rope. I don't have to undo the Honda, which in the rope that I use, undoing the Honda takes a, I mean, an act of God. I mean, it's, it's so hard to get that Honda to come apart. So it's neat that I don't have to undo the Honda. I don't have to cut a rope. If I want to break in a rodeo rope, which I personally like to do, I like to rope with my ropes before I take them uh, somewhere to rope with them for money. I can rope with them. I can rope with two calves with them. I can rope 12 calves with them. And all I have to do is snap that thing off there when I'm done and string it back through the Honda and it's ready to go. So Erin Johnson is an extremely great coach. Like she talks everything out. If you have questions, she has an answer for them. And again, Lee Seamus is a great coach. She'll break anything down and put it into your perspective. And I've learned so much from both of them. When it comes to Lee and Lee especially, I mean, how much effort she puts into these kids. I don't think if you're gonna come here, you should have a plan and be determined at what you're gonna do. It's not really just a lollygagging thing. Like, she's not gonna put her dedication into somebody that doesn't wanna put the same dedication into her. I would totally recommend Erin Johnson for whether it's just a lesson, whether it's a clinic, and I just think she really helped me a lot. And also Lee Seamus, she is the one and only. She really, there's no one better than her and I'm very grateful for her. Well, I love Lee. Who doesn't love Lee? She's done an awesome job. She's very passionate about this. And I will say one thing, anybody who has dedicated their entire life to the betterment of this sport is 
are the most important and critical people to our sport. To see what she has done just for our sport, it, behind the scenes. No one knows, you know, like, the shout her out. Let's give her a big round of applause because for someone to, again, like Aaron said, to put forth the effort to train girls and just dedicate to her to show what we what girls can do with a rope in our hand.